I don't think I really started skiing a lot of gates until I was maybe 14-ish all the time before that I'd say the majority of our skiing came free skiing and I think that was really important especially when I was 10 and 11 I'd say we trained gates maybe once every other week or maybe once a week but pretty rarely and the rest of the time was always just free skiing so I think that was uh, that was really good to develop the overall ski skills and, uh, and, and keep it fun and, uh, and really cherish the time you had in the gates I think that was really important too is um, when we got in the gates we were super excited to be in the gates because we'd done so much free skiing that uh, it was almost a privilege to get, get in the gates. I think the key thing when you're when you're junior entering a pro, uh, program is just have fun with it. I mean, it doesn't really matter what the results are. Just get out there and ski as much as you can. Not always just banging gates and chasing results and and always just racing. I think it's important to go out there and free ski and, and just have fun with it. I think that's the most important part. Is uh, is if you're having fun with it, it's going to be easy to develop develop those skills and, and uh, want to work hard at it. Um, even at this point, I still use free skiing a fair amount, especially um, in the springtime when I'm uh, just trying to work on the overall skills of skiing and, uh, and whatnot. I mean, in the race season, we don't have a lot of time um, on the World Cup to do a lot of free skiing. And sometimes the race hills won't have good, great free skiing for us to, to work on our skiing, but I think it's, uh, it's important, especially in the springtime when you're just trying to build that base to get a, a lot of free runs in and uh, not be just focusing on the gates and trying to go fast.